In this video, we'll balance the equation CaCl2 plus K3PO4. We have calcium chloride and potassium phosphate. This is a double displacement reaction. The two metals, the calcium and the potassium, they switch places. It's a bit of a challenging equation to balance, but we're going to use a little trick to make it easier. So let's count the atoms up on each side and get started. One calcium, two chlorines, three potassiums. And here's the trick. We have PO4 here. It's called the phosphate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. So we have phosphate here and we have phosphate here. So we just count it as one item and that makes balancing just a lot, lot easier. So we have one phosphate group, one phosphate ion. On the products, three calciums, one chlorine, one potassium, and then we have the one phosphate times two. So two phosphate ions. Let's balance the calcium atoms first. We could just put a three here, one times three. That would give us three calcium atoms. They would be balanced. And then for the chlorines, this two times three here, that would give us six. We could just balance the chlorine atoms too. We could put a six here. So we have one chlorine times six. Those are balanced. And for the potassium, we have one times six. So we have six potassium atoms. Let's do the potassiums. We could just put a two here, three times two, that equals six. And for the phosphates, we have one phosphate group times two, that equals two, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see that counting this phosphate here, if we have this phosphate ion here, and then again here, it makes the balancing a lot easier. Otherwise, you're counting quite a few different oxygen atoms. It can get a little bit messy. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for calcium chloride plus potassium phosphate. Thanks for watching.